right entrance or the right branch of the lower level. Because now that the, wa the water is in the second level, you can actually go to the second level of this branch here. See, like, you go up, and you can go to this previously inaccessible area. Because before, the water was either too high or too low to reach you. And you just want to bomb out this wall. And watch it go boom! Nice. And in here, there's going to be another small key. Nice. So we're going to have three small keys at one time. That is very, very welcome in the water temple. You want to have as many small keys as humanly possible at every, at every moment in this temple. Because you're going to need them, trust me. Alright, so I think we actually have everything that we need to go and get the item in this dungeon. I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure that, it's going, it, that the item in this dungeon is in the second branch, or like the left branch on the second floor. Look over there. Um, what's behind me there? Oh, the, I can't access that yet, I don't think. No, I can't. I cannot access that yet. But I can access this, because I have three small keys. Time to consume one of them. Because that's what they're for. And in here there is... Oh, this puzzle. For, okay, first things first, you want to go stand over here. Tr just trust me, because if you don't, then that tech tight right there, it'll fall on you while you're on your way up, and it'll hit you no matter what. So you have to lure it out first. Okay, then you can just go stand on this water pillar, and we're going to hit that daisy switch. Nice. There we go. And we rise! Rise! We're rising again! Maybe we'll, we will go to heaven this time. Nope, just another room with a door. And nothing else, looks like. Just a door, and it previously had a tektite in it. Oh, and here's the third level for, um... What, what was I? Thir third place to change the water level. So we're gonna do that again, I guess. Um, yep. Nice. Oh my god, I didn't even check my timer. Holy shit, I'm past 12 minutes, okay. Um. Yeah. I kinda suck for that, sorry. Okay, just a second, you guys. I just have to do something here. Alright guys, I'm very sorry about that, but I just realized that I was getting so into this temple, like, just doing it, that I had- that I forgot to look, to pay attention to my timer, and I went over time, and I never gave my outro for episode 69. So, here it is now. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night. And now we're back, and here's my intro for episode 70. Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 70. Freaking 70, man, of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in this episode, we're going to continue with the Water Temple. Alright. So we just changed the water level here. Yeah, we're just gonna go back into this and smash your face! Oh, I missed the tech type. Die. There we go. And I believe this is actually the path that you want to take to get- that we're gonna take to get to the item of this dungeon. I'm pretty certain. Because it's pretty much the only other path that we can take at the moment. And in here there is- oh yep, yeah, this is the room, this is the place. Okay, you're gonna need your hookshot, as you can plainly see by all the hookshot targets, or well, just that one hookshot target, really. But all right, so let's just kill these keys. Nice. And uh, you will actually be able to see. And I actually checked my skeletal account. It's not 74 right now; it's 73 actually. I somehow lost count. But there's a skeletal over there. You can't hit it, or you can't. It, you could hit it with your bone arrows, but you couldn't kill it, or you couldn't get its token or anything. So just don't worry about that. Alright, so you're going to want to hop all the, down here, and you're going to need to grab the targets the targets on these moving platforms here. And this, this part can be a little bit tricky, but if you're, if you're fast enough, you can do it with ease. And I almost epically failed there, but I didn't, so awesome. Well, I'm sure you would have loved to see me epically fail, you know, just like the first episode of The Water Temple. Yeah. Nothing's gonna top that fail. I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that's gonna top that fail. At least not in my LP. LP. Alright. And we are almost there. You just have to slowly crawl your way up to the top here and grab this one. And you need a third key here, so we're gonna consume our last key to enter this room. 
Oh, this room. This one's not too fun, really. First things first, I'm going to kill all the Tektites in this room, because they piss me off so much. Okay, kill you. Kill you, yeah. They take two arrows, unfortunately. And nice. You just stay perfectly still. Awesome. Can you do the same for me? Thank you. Alright, so now you're gonna I'm gonna get up back out of my hook shot so I don't have to use any consumables. And basically there's this other there's this oddly colored well not oddly colored, it's red daisy switch in the center. If you hit that, it'll turn blue and the water level will rise. And then you can hook shot over here, which is nice. And then you wanna go over here. Uh, do you want- yes, you want to go over here and hit the daisy switch again, so that it turns red and lowers the water level. And basically you have to do this a bunch of times throughout this room in order to get to the end of it. And I hope I don't need a key at the end of it, because then I'll know that I've flubbed up somewhere. And I probably actually will, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Okay, let's see, do I need- yeah, I do need to hit it again, don't I? Yep. Okay, so we hit it again, not too hard. Yeah, if you just keep your wits about you, this room isn't all that bad. It might be bad on your first time, you might not completely understand what you're supposed to be doing, but whatever. Okay, and we'll hit the switch yet again. And I think we're going to have to hit the switch just one more time. And this time you have to be a little bit clever about it by getting on this guy's head before you hit the switch. So that you can rise up to the top. To the top, because this is where the exit is, as you can see. And, oh, oh my god, more Tektites and a like like over there, I see. We're gonna need to kill that like like, otherwise it'll hookshot up to there, and it will just drop right into it, so we don't want that. So, bow and arrow, not, not Furore's Wind time. I didn't, I don't like Furore's Wind right now, not after what happened. Me and Furore's Wind broke up. Alright, and it's dead. Nice. I hate like like so much. They're the worst in the original Zelda, because then you lose your shield permanently from them. And if you have, like, a mirror shield or whatever it's called, then it's not fun. Alright, and I don't need a key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sweet Jesus. Oh, let's not get into that topic again of Jesus. And, oh, this room. This is a little interesting room, isn't it? It's, like, outside now all of a sudden. It's like, what the hell is this? And there's a tree in the middle? What's going on here, man? Okay, okay, pay close attention. See, I, I have a reflection in the water here. And then I cross this island, and it, now there's no more reflection in the water. Huh. And there's a locked door over here. And so let's just go back, I guess. I guess we have to do something else. And... <gasps> Who it? What? Dark Argon? Conquer yourself? Oh my god. No. No, I'm, I'm fighting. It's my own worst enemy. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, don't do that. Dude. Okay. Yeah, basically, I, I'm, I, I wasn't even talking. What am I doing? To, okay, to fight this guy, uh, just a second. I'm making sure my timer's... Oh, nine minutes. Um, should I leave it at a cliffhanger? I don't know. Alright, I hit him again, so I think I'm going to leave it there, actually, and I'll explain how you're supposed to be Dark Argon, Dark Link, Dark whatever, in the next episode. So, uh, this episode's kind of short, but whatever. So thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.